Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing you another awesome math video. This one on finding the perimeter of a rectangle when you have uh, roots that are given. So you might have a rectangle that looks something like this. I just ran up over stairs and winded. Alright, so um, maybe one side of the rectangle is 3 root 2 plus root 12. And the other side might be root 27 plus root 8. So basically we have a couple of options. First of all we have to figure out what's the perimeter, what it is the perimeter. So the perimeter is the distance away around. So what I have to recognize is that this side and this side is exactly the same and this side and this side is exactly the same. So really I have twice this length and twice this because we know perimeter really is equal to 2w plus 2l. So, some people like to use that to their advantage. It doesn't really matter. So, if you want to use that, you can do this. So, 2 times the width being whoops, um, root 27 plus root 8, and then plus 2 times, <coughs> excuse me, 3 root 2 plus root 12. So I can multiply 2 times tw root 27 is just 2 root 27. Don't multiply underneath the root sign. You just multiply the front when you're multiplying by just a, a number. Then 2 times 8 is 2 root 8. And then we multiply 2 times 3 root 2 is 6 root 2. And then 2 times root 12 is 2 root 12. So now what we have to do is we have to simplify these roots and look for like radicals. So like radicals means same index. These are all square roots, so we're good to go on that one. And same thing underneath the root sign. So right now we don't have any like radicals that appear, so we need to make them, we need to simplify. So I think about the largest perfect square that divides into 27 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And then the largest perfect square that divides into 8 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Root 2 is already simplified. Don't have to do anything with that. And 12, largest perfect square that divides into 12 is 4. 4 times 3. So now with this one right here, I ask myself, what's the square root of 9? It's 3. So I take that 3 and multiply by that 2. So it becomes 6 root 3. So I do that again. Square root of 9 is 3 times 2, 6. Square root of 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. So the reason I found these numbers is so that I can take the square root of them, right? So the perfect square. Then 6 root 2, and then square root of 4 is 2, times 2 is 4, root 3. So now I have this situation where I have some like radicals. So I have a root 3, and then another root 3 over here. So I can add those together. So 6 root 3 plus 4 root 3 is 10 root 3, plus, and then I have 4 root 2 and 6 root 2. Add those together, I get 10 root 2. And there it is. So that is the perimeter of that rectangle. So what I need to remember is when I'm adding radicals, I have like radicals. So same thing underneath root sign, same index. Hope this video helped, guys, and I'll see you guys in class.